Good afternoon. This is Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates. Just going to do a very quick uh, video about the weekend. Um, I hope you all have a, a great Memorial Day weekend. And uh, as you go out and enjoy your freedoms, uh, always keep in mind those who have died and uh, sacrificed the ultimate for our freedom. So let's take a look at the uh, the weekend ahead. Uh, we really have a great weather weekend ahead. And uh, the main reason I want to do this forecast is because I, you all know me, I don't like to change my forecast a lot. And so I've kind of left the temperatures where I've had them as far as forecast highs and lows. But I, you know, I wanted to show you what could happen because my forecast is warmer than data. And so I want to show you why data is cooler. So, um, know that Saturday and especially Sunday could actually maybe maybe be in the upper 70s instead of around 80 but it's that's not going to be that big of a, a difference but it could be just enough of a difference that I just wanted you to know so uh, let's take a look at the um, vapor loop here real quick from the College of DuPage and uh, what I want to point out to you as you're looking at this thing is we've got uh, several players on the field that are leading to the potential for cooler temperatures. And so uh, we'll talk about that here real quick. And uh, one of the first things you see is this little swirl right here. It's a, a low pressure system and mid-level, but it's not really tapping into much. There's a tiny bit of weakness right here where there's uh, some storm activity blowing up. So we want to keep that in mind. You know, as I've said, there's minor, minor rain chances over the weekend. But they do exist, so don't be surprised if you're somewhere and something pops up real quick and then it's gone. You know, it just can't be totally ruled out. It's highly unlikely, but it can't be totally ruled out. But you've got this little spin right here, and it's pulling a little bit of warmer air up. You can kind of see the boundary right across here. The next big player is what I mentioned a few days ago, and that's this uh, low pressure developing off the coast. Uh, and it's pulling a, a large cloud shield. This is water vapor, but you can still tell where the cloud shield is pretty well. And uh, so as this moves north, if the cloud shield from this uh, low pressure makes it over us, uh, and Sunday would be the best chance for that to happen. Again, you can't rule out a very isolated shower or a storm, and that can help keep temperatures down if we turn cloudy. I've kind of got us being variably cloudy and kind of mix of sun and clouds. But uh, the cloudier it is, the cooler will be. And um, it will still be in the 70s, at, you know, at the worst. But, it's, you know, again, this could um, play into it if we get some cloud cover from it. The other thing is this large high pressure. You can see the circulation up here, the clockwise circulation. And between all of these things, I mean, we, we're getting a little bit of warm air supply here. But this can circulate some cooler air from the northeast. This, because of its counterclockwise spin, also can tap in and pull some cooler air from the northeast. So between these two large features here, if they position themselves just right, then we could end up at being in the mid to upper 70s over the weekend instead of the lower 80s. So I just wanted to point that out to you. Again, it's going to be a great weekend no matter what. I think people who are going to be out at the uh, Anderson Little 500 tomorrow evening or the Indy 500 on Sunday would probably prefer it to be a little bit cooler uh, so that they don't roast to death out there. One nice thing is the humidity has been really low, so we've had really comfortable air. Even when we've gotten in the 80s, it really hasn't felt bad. So, uh, And that will continue to be the case as well. So that's uh, all I wanted to talk about. Again, we're taking a look here, and I'll post this as its own uh, graphic here in a little bit. But... Again, I'm expecting temperatures to be a little bit either side of 80 degrees on Saturday and Sunday. Very minor rain chances, especially Sunday and Monday. Monday is probably the best chance, but it's still very low. And then by Monday, we'll start to creep up into the mid-80s, and then we're probably going to flirt with 90 degrees mid to late next week. So with all that said, you all uh, have an awesome holiday weekend. Again, keep our those who gave the ultimate for our freedoms, keep them in your mind as uh, you enjoy this weekend. Have a great weekend, and I'll do my next forecast maybe Sunday night, but probably Monday night. So have a great weekend. It's Micah Mitchell with Madison County Weather Updates.